Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I wanted to do a real quick video. Uh, Mark, aka Witch Miner One, asked me to do a little video on, you know, books for beginners and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna get right into it. And uh, the first one I wanted to show everyone is "Write Your Own Magic" by Richard Webster. This was like one of the first. Uh, witchy books that I had and uh, it explains to you like you know how to, how to write your own spells and stuff like that and um, you know how, how to put meaning into it goes into I'm reading from the uh, table contents here um, the meanings of numbers sacred names uh, hidden names graphology secret writing uh, stuff like that manifesting your dreams finding your life's purpose you know and it gives some uh some different things in here that you can use like uh mandalas and crystals and gemstones stuff like that so i mean it's it has a lot of information in here and if you've watched my videos before you know that i highly endorse richard webster you know and i don't know if this video if the camera is making the wording backwards, if it is, I'm sorry, it's, yeah, whatever. So, next one, I just got this one. It's Angel, Ar Archangels and Ancest, uh, uh, excuse me, let me start over. Archangels and Ascended Masters, a guide to working and healing with deity, divinities and deities by Dorian Virtue, PhD. And this one has, like, all kinds of archangels, all kinds of gods and goddesses. Now, I don't use gods and goddesses in in my practice other than the Christian god, and then I use my ancestors, but it also gives, like, archangels, which, you know, I, I work with angels every once in a while, and, yes, if you look over here, my co-star is sitting right there. Say hi, Coda. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. He's a tired pup. So, but yeah, I don't really work with, with other deities, but I do work with archangels, so I went ahead and bought this. And after I'm done, you know, using information from here, I'll probably send it on uh, to somebody else. You know, share the wealth. <clears throat> Another one, which is a pretty, uh, a pretty big, you know, part for... Or a pretty big book that's well known throughout is Wicca for One, um, the Path of a Solitary of Solitary Witchcraft by Raymond Buckin Buckland. Yeah, I can't talk to today, guys. See, I can't even say I can't talk. Uh, but Raymond Buckland, Uncle Bucky, you know, real knowledgeable guy. Um, you know, I I endorse all of his stuff. So. Still, still reading some of that one. Another one, another one is Scott Cunningham's Book of Shadows. This is without the cover on it, because I usually take all the paper covers off all my books, uh, especially whenever I take them around and read everywhere. And if you look up here, I have it all tabbed out. You know, different things that I'm going to be using, and it it goes into all kinds of stuff, like home remedies and and different symbols and everything like that. You know, so yes, highly endorsed. Scott Cunningham, gotta love him. I just picked up this one. Uh, what was it like? Wednesday or th I think it's Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. I think it was Wednesday. Um, was it Wednesday? Yeah, it was Wednesday. And I haven't really read a lot of it, but uh, this author is well known for. Um, just practicing or just starting uh, Wiccans and uh, Pagans and all that. Anybody who who uh, knows this author thinks that she's a fluffy bunny, uh, or many of those who know this author think that she's a fluffy bunny. And uh, but I really like her writing style and everything. Uh, to light the sacred flame by Silver Raven Wolf. Um, she goes into a lot of different things, different. Uh, different types of rituals and everything that you can do, you know, um, 
different magical correspondences and all that, which you gotta, gotta love magical correspondence. But she like lays out some some rituals in here that are pretty cool. So I like that one. I picked that up. Uh, to ride a silver broomstick by Silver Raven Wolf, she she goes into uh, like some bare basics of uh, of witchcraft and paganism and and Wicca and all that. So that's a good book. This one here uh, is the Inner Temple of Witchcraft by Christopher Christopher Penzac, and I just realized today, and I had no clue I did it before. Uh, but I bought two of these books without even realizing it. So if anybody wants my second book, my second copy, just uh, send me money for shipping. And I think, yeah, right there it's like 20 bucks. So just send me like 15, 20 bucks, whatever. And uh, I mean, this one here, this is the one that I didn't tab out. And the other one I haven't really gotten to read yet because I have so many other books that are sitting there and studying for work and all that. So this one isn't tabbed out. This is the new one. And it was sitting on my shelf like almost right next to the, to the old one. And I can't believe I just now saw that. So if you guys want that, just send me shipping costs and like 15 bucks. You know, whatever. Um, this is another one by Christopher Penzak. It's called Sons of the Goddess, A Young Man's Guide to Wicca. Now, like I said before, I don't use a goddess in my path, but this this type of book, even if you don't use a goddess, is, like, really awesome. Of Like, an awesomely written book, and he goes into some great detail, and he has some great exercise in here where you just get down to the nitty-gritty of what you believe and everything, and it's really cool. And the one that everybody's seen umpteen billion times, Solitary Witch by Silver Raven Wolf. Still all tabbed out and everything because there's a lot that I want to put into my Book of Shadows, which, um, matter of fact, hold on, a little update on my, my Book of Shadows. I got this little one here for a travel Book of Shadows and, and all that, and I've just started, you know, writing in it and everything, so... But yeah, this one's going to go with me, and in my next video I'll vlog about what's going on and why I need to have a travel book of shadows. Last book up is another one by Uncle Bucky, Raymond Buckland, uh, the, complete, the Complete Book of Witchcraft. Buckland's Complete Book of Witchcraft. Uh, awesome book. He goes into uh, different things. I don't think I'm going to use this one as much as I, I will use um, the Wicca for one. Because this one's more towards a coven and everything, but it gives some cool uh, projects in here. Like how to make an altar like from scratch. And uh, it gives that type of stuff. Um, how to make your athame from scratch if you, if you want to. Um, it lays out some rituals in here that I would probably you know, cut and paste some stuff in there that I want to do and uh, go from there. It's kind of the same layout of Solitary Witch, but uh, he's less of that fluffy bunny-ish, if you want to call it that. But uh, he gives a lot of different, different uh, exercises in here, different rituals, and he does mention some Solitary um, like path work stuff and all that so if you are solitary then you can still go out and buy this book and not feel like you're you know being pressured into being in a coven which the only coven that I belong to is on spellsofmagic.com so but yes I'm going to go now and I will make another video here in a couple minutes I know last week I said I was gonna make a ton of videos and I end up only making the one introducing my little buddy here but uh yeah I'll talk to you guys later. Until next time, may your ancestors be with you. Bye. Hey guys, I almost forgot that uh, that there's one more book that I did not mention, and it is 
called Way of the Horn God, A Young Man's uh, Path. I think it's Young Man's Path to Paganism or something like that. It, anyway, if you want to read that one, it's um, go to Dancing Rabbit 52, I think is what his, his is under. Yes, Dancing Rabbit 52. Go to his channel and uh, there's more on the book there. Highly endorse it. I've only read like half of that book and it's absolutely phenomenal. Gotta go and read it. Uh, I was just watching my video and editing it and I had to add that one. So go and read that one. Awesome book. So uh, if you want, go to his channel and he explains how to get it. You can get it through Amazon or I think it's obooks.com or something like that. But he explains it on, on his uh on his channel how to get a copy of it or you can PM him and get an autographed copy so go and get that one too because that is an awesome book especially um, well it's mainly written for uh, teenage male pagans uh, so if you're a female then uh, you probably won't need it as much as a male but it may still be beneficial for you I don't know so okay anyway that's it bye <laughs>